Hey guys and welcome to the third episode of my headphone zone unboxing. These are the first ever Venture Electronics earphones that I'm testing. So let's jump in straight with their build. The IEMs have a bullet-like look to them and are cool to the touch since they're made of an aluminium alloy and they have a matte finish. The outside of the housing has finely made ridges which has a nice look to it. Its cable terminates to a 3.5mm jack so it's easy to connect to most phones, tablets or dongles. The cable quality reminds me of the old earphones you'd get with Walkmans back in the day. It's sturdy and I doubt it'll give any issues unless it's cut or crushed under terrific force. Sadly, these earphones do not come with a microphone. So if you're looking to have a set of earphones with a mic so you can talk to your gaming buddies or even take those casual phone calls, this earphone doesn't even come with the option of buying one. These earphones come with a 10mm dynamic driver and they are fairly easy to drive with a low resistance of just 32 ohms. On a volume front, these sound just right at about 40-45%. to I wouldn't say there's any real need to go above that, but you can go above 50%, but it can get a little too loud over there. Even way down at 5% volume, I'd expect a lot of detail to be lost, but these do remain fairly rounded. Uh, the highs and bass don't disappear like you'd expect them to. Soundstage is restricted within your head and between your ears, with some tones giving you the illusion of coming from further out. And this stage remains in a horizontal plane. Imaging is crisp and clear, making it fairly easy to zone in on any nuances in the music you're trying to enjoy. I was quite surprised that this has these kind of characteristics at this price point. I did test this out with some jazz music and it's almost unbelievable that these can image the way they do at this price point. High frequencies are handled with a level of grace I wouldn't expect from earphones that look and cost as much as these. There is no shrillness here, only soft subtlety. Listening to Wayne Newton's Wives and Lovers, the cymbal hits through this track sits slightly in the distance and don't intrude at any point. These handle this range like the folk at Venture Acoustics spent a lot of time making sure this range would be as clean and fatigue free as possible. When it comes to the mid frequencies, the higher mids do sound more elevated than the lower mids. Now usually when this happens, a lot of female vocals tend to push through a lot more and male vocals tend to sound a lot more recessed. But with all the male vocals that I've heard, these don't sound like they're missing much. Listening to Tony Bennett's The Way You Look Tonight, he does sound very slightly more nasal than how he would sound otherwise. But the depth in his voice isn't lost as much as I thought it would be. Lower frequencies are healthy with these. They're certainly healthier than the last two earphones I unboxed from the headphone zone box. They're controlled, but not as tight as I'd like. Not that they're a slouch in any way. These sound terrific with big band music. That little bit of a boost in the lower registers makes listening to an upright bass so much more enjoyable and makes it sound like the beating heart of the music. Listening to Jeff Goldblum and the Mildred Snitzer Orchestra featuring Haley Reinhardt perform My Baby Just Cares For Me, these manage to not just present the bassline with confidence, but also manage to transfer the fun of this performance across to you. And if you're into EDM music, these can be a trip. The combination of their imaging, highs and bass performance makes these the first lot of earphones from this box I'd say are terrific all-rounders. Will the bass loosen up any earwax? No, it won't. It's not too exaggerated, but it's a step in the direction of wanting to get into the audiophile hobby. So to sum up, when it comes to the build, well, there's not much going on with these earphones, but it is pretty nicely put together. You know that this is definitely pretty hardy because of the material that they've used. I think even if you sat on these or if, if you drop them, I don't think they'd really damage really badly. They'd maybe pick up a few scuffs and scratches uh, over time. Maybe the paint will peel off, maybe. Uh, but these are, are, are no biggies, really. Uh, the, the build is superb in the sense, I, I think this will last you uh, quite a while. Uh, unless, of course, your cable gets snagged or if it gets cut somehow. Now, on a sound front, these are very enjoyable earphones to listen to. Uh, they've tweaked things in the right places. And the combination of how these handle their highs, their imaging and their bass, I think these are a very good set of earphones to start off the audiophile hobby with. Uh, I mean, especially if you're somebody who enjoys more bass than uh, anything else, because this will lure you in with the bass uh, factor and also expose you to how imaging should be and how every other frequency should really be delivered to absolutely enjoy every detail in your music. So how much do these cost? Well, at the time of recording, uh, their MRP is 1999 and they're being sold for 1799 on headphonezone.in. 
So if you do think these earphones are for you, if I describe them well enough to you and you think they are, uh, I'm leaving a link down below in the description of, uh, provided by Headphone Zone. You can pick these up from there if you'd like to. And if you stay this long, I presume you do like the content on my channel. And if you would like support me, I'm sure you know exactly how to. And of course, thank you for tuning into Paul's POV for some sound advice.